Thank you, thank you, thank you. Should we be doing more thanks, particularly in our company? With Employee Appreciation Day quickly approaching, we thought it would be great for our next guest to talk to us about his brand new book called The Power of Thanks. Eric Mosley joins us right now. And why was it important for you to uh, write this book? Tell us about it. Well, um, as CEO of Global Force, I've probably had the privilege to work with you know these incredible companies like Hershey and JetBlue, um, Eaton, um, many other very large companies with great cultures. And what they've created is a culture in their companies where their employees recognize one another for great work. And that creates a whole positive momentum in their, in their uh, human capital. And so by working with these companies over the years, we're able to distill all of the learnings from working with them into this book. And this book is a roadmap for other companies and HR leaders to try and replicate the success that those companies have had. Well, Eric, you know, traditionally, it's always recommended that we do thank you notes. Have you expanded on that? Um, well, the thank you note is, is a very powerful form of, of recognition. Um, you know, if you give a handwritten note to somebody to say thank you for a job well done, it is emotionally impactful, there's no, no doubt. Um, but sometimes you need to institutionalize recognition. You need to get it into the fabric of the company. And to do that, you probably need a, techno a technology solution. You need you know, a web site to be able to nominate your employees and give, give thanks and awards. And these days, uh, mobile phone applications, cell phone apps um, are, are hugely prevalent. So to be able to take out your iPhone, pick out a colleague and say thank you for a job well done, is, is very efficient. And these programs operate at very high frequency transaction levels. There's lots and lots of thank you moments that all add up to kind of goodwill and morale in the company. Well, certainly the great results speak for themselves, but Eric, is there a quantitative factor in the analysis that shows down to the bottom line? Well, what we find is that most companies who run these programs, they will increase their engagement scores, uh, their net promoter scores. And these scores basically are a gauge of the energy levels and the commitment levels of their employees. And so there's many research out there to show that if you can increase engagement by 10, 15%, you get a two or 3% increase in, in the bottom line in operating income. So very, very powerful um, a, a cause and effect there. If you raise the morale and the energy of your employee base, you will increase your operating income as a company. Um, but it's, it's kind of common sense, you know, if everybody's happier, if everybody's operating at a, at a higher level, if they're faster um, and they produce more great work, then of course you're gonna do better as a company. Well, it certainly makes sense. We're glad you did the research. Thank you for this book. And before we go, any last thoughts? No, it's fantastic. Uh, thank you very much. The questions were fantastic.